I have been waiting for you. That was your voice before. It was. I am the one who brought you here. My name is Nall. I serve as the mayor of the Centropolis. The Centropopopolis? We... we are on Need, aren't we? Oh, this is Need, all right. The Centropolis is one of Need's largest cities. So, do you people have any idea why you're here on Need right now? No, I don't have any idea what's going on here. We were fighting these strange men on top of a tower in Eluria. The next thing we knew, we were here. You were probably teleported here with those men when they took themselves to need. Who the hell were those guys? A group that we call the Ten Wise Men. Before I explain who they are, I must tell you of the mistakes that have haunted Need's past. About 3.7 billion years ago, Need was a planet. Meaning what? It's a planet now, isn't it? The Need of today isn't a planet at all. What we stand on today is better known as Energy Need an artificial planet enveloped in a high-energy field. Oh, that must be what my dad called the high-energy mass. 3.7 billion years ago, Planet Expel did not even exist in space. Even at that time, the people of Need had vast knowledge of magic science, on a level no other planet could come close to matching. As a result, Need was able to gain control of every planet in the galaxy. But Need didn't rule by force. The records claim it was a model of economic cooperation, almost a living utopia. But even in this near utopia, there live those with evil minds. They call themselves the Ten Wise Men. They were uninterested in interplanetary cooperation. They wanted the entire galaxy under their iron fists. The ten fanatical madmen began their conquest by first seizing control of Need with their staggering powers. One by one, Need's cities fell under the sheer force of their attack. Anyone who refused loyalty to their regime was ruthlessly murdered. They showed pity to no one, not even women and children. The needy and armed forces mustered everything they had, but they were completely routed by the overwhelming power of the wise men. Their rampage across the planet, however, did not last long. The Nidian army summoned up their remaining power, and they fought back fiercely. After weeks of desperate fighting, they finally succeeded in defeating the Ten Wise Men. As their punishment, the Ten Wise Men were exiled to Eternity Space, a prison from which there can never be any exit. The war was a complete victory for the Nidian forces. And in the process, the Nidians finally opened their eyes to the extent of the power they had wielded all this time. Even if we never asked for it, we had the technological ability to rule over the entire universe right at our fingertips. If the Ten Wise Men ever came back to haunt us, Need would be engulfed in total war yet again. Nobody wanted this, of course. After a lengthy conference, the world-renowned Dr. Lantis offered a solution that everyone accepted. 
we opted to seal away our powers, to put an end to the progress that we had achieved. Planet Need was destroyed by the hands of the very Needians who lived there. And so it was that the entire population relocated to Energy Need, ensconced safely in its high energy field. The energy that covers this planet exists to forbid any access to or from foreign space. With it, we are totally cut off from the rest of the universe. You know the rest of the story. The ten wise men escaped from their banishment into eternity space. How they managed to escape, and how they managed to break into Planet Expel, is a mystery to us. But the facts are plain for anyone to see. They are out of eternity space, and they have landed on need once again. And their goal is nothing less than complete domination of the galaxy. So those... those were the ten wise men? Yes. They are led by the all-powerful Gabriel with the cunning Lucifer serving as their military advisor. Under them are the remaining eight wise men, which are in turn led by Michael. They are madmen, and they are to be feared. You can find out more about them in the library's database, if you're interested. Didn't you notice when they came back to this planet? We did, but the moment Expel's orbit first became erratic, it was already too late to do anything. So why did you bring us here anyway? Because you have the potential. What do you mean? As we speak, the Ten Wise Men are preparing to take over the galaxy and they're starting with energy need. But we simply don't have the power we once had, the power that banished them to another dimension long ago. So, you want us to help you out? That's right. The powers that we and the Ten Wise Men have are identical. Neither side can come out on top. What we need is a different kind of power. A different kind of power? What do you think? I think we have no choice. We're already here after all. If the Ten Wise Men want to take over the galaxy, then they'll come after Expel sooner or later. I'm kind of scared, but okay. Sounds good then. Thank you so much. I'm sorry to be blunt, but there isn't a moment to lose. I want to act swiftly and decisively. What should we do, though? The first thing you'll want is a mode of transportation to get you around need. Isn't that what the transporters are for? Those are installed only at our main government buildings. For everything else, we use flying symbological creatures known as synods. Synods? If you travel north of the Centropolis, you'll arrive at North City. They have a Synard breeding farm called The Home up there. I'm sure anyone there can point you to it. Also, there is the library that I mentioned earlier. You'll find a wealth of knowledge about Need's history and technology inside. Thank you, sir. I'd say it's time to visit North City then. Reyna! How did you know my name? I have something to discuss with you, privately. Could you stay behind for just a moment? Sure. I think I'm ready to hear the whole story now, Mayor. Reyna? I've been searching for my real parents throughout my journey but I haven't found a single lead or clue yet. I would imagine not. 
If you are a Nidian, you'd be unlikely to find any trace of your family on Expel. So it's true that I'm Nidian? Yes, there's no doubt about it. Why was I living on Expel then? Where are my real parents, Nal? If you knew my name, then you've got to know that. Reyna, I'm afraid you're going to have to discover the answer to that question yourself. Myself? The journey that lies ahead of you will reveal a great deal about your true identity. My true identity? You are a Nidian, and yet you lived on Expel, brought up as an Expellion. I think the experience has granted you a power that surpasses that of any other Nidian on energy need. Me? Don't be afraid of your powers, Reyna. You have your friends with you. You'll never be alone. You must persevere for us. Yes, Mayor. Your parents must have loved you very much, Reyna. I'm sure of it. The pendant on your chest is all the evidence you need. I apologize that I can't tell you more right this minute. No. Thank you, Mayor. Ah, I apologize for keeping you. Oh, not at all. I had best return to my duties then. Sorry I kept you waiting. You didn't take that long. Reyna, listen. Hmm? Uh... I'm all right. Reyna? Let's go. I need to find my answers. Right. We'll be going to North City first, then. That's straight due north of the Centropolis, I think.
Ah, oh, they saw me. Who was that?
There's just no fooling these guys. She isn't stalking us, is she? No, she couldn't be. told us we could obtain a sign art here. Oh, are you Ms. Raina Lanford? He's already contacted us about you. You can head over to the director's office if you like. Ah, good to meet you. The mayor told me all about you. My name is Artis. I'm the director of this facility. This man will be handling the Synard creation process for you. What do you mean by creation? A Synard is a living creature, yes, but we have to program it with data about its new master before it'll follow directions and orders. Wow, that sounds kind of cruel, actually. Well, the Synards we raise are genetically modified from the moment they are conceived, so really it's just another part of the process. Let's not waste any time. He'll lead you through the data entry process, so let him know if you have any questions. Thank you. This way, please. We'll begin the data recording in just a moment. I'll call you into the data entry room when we're ready. All right. Hey, you sure this is gonna work? We've never worked with non-Nedians before. Who knows? We don't have a choice. Orders from above. Man, I wish I could get a promotion. I couldn't really understand much of what those people were saying. Tell people on Expel that we're on energy need? Huh? Well, I mean, from Expel's point of view, we pretty much vanished into thin air, didn't we? Look, about Expel. What is it, Claude? Never mind. Well, we're all set. 
Right this way, please. Alright, we'll begin with Claude's personal data. Please proceed inside. It's completely painless, I promise. Stay perfectly still until I say it's okay to move. We'll be done in just a moment. Alright, you're free to go. Oh, already? Next up would be Reyna. This way, please. Oh, okay. Here we go. Now just relax. All done. I'm glad there's at least one data subject I don't have to worry much about. What? Anyway, next up. What was that? We've lost control of the sign art we're working on. What? It's going to destroy this place if we don't do something. Claude. Let's go. Whoa, there it is. Is there nothing else we can do about this? Guess I'll actually fight for this one. I'm not gonna lose. Be gone! <laughs> 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 Well, well, I'd say that's time. worth 10 Whatever. out of 10. Oh, awesome. oh, yeah! Well, I never thought this would happen. No offense, sir, but what did you expect? We were inputting data from an alien species into the Synard. Of course this was gonna happen! Now wait just a minute. We lost one of our valuable Synards thanks to you. So now what? Listen, we weren't... An apology is not going to make up for this. Director, I'm going to need a boost in my research funding to make up for this. What a terrible thing to happen. I'm sorry, sir. No, it's not your fault. It was the Synard who wouldn't accept your data. But it didn't have to die for it. Well, it's obvious by this point that inputting your data into a Synard isn't going to work. So what will we do now, then? Well, there is one thing we could try. What's that? 
We better not discuss it here. Let's go back to my office. Nuts! If only I were a little earlier! I could have had my front page exclusive! Enraged Synard Levels Breeding Facility! Ow! Thank you. I don't really want too many people to hear this. Not that it matters much to them. I'm not sure what you're getting at, sir. Don't worry about it. Just go over into that transporter over there for me, all right? It's unlocked. You. Yes, sir. What was that about? You'll have the rest explained to you on the other side. Hopefully, the mayor won't have any complaints. Are we getting involved in something under the table here? Hey, you're here to save the universe, aren't you? We all have to make some sacrifices along the way. What do you mean? Look, do you want a sign art or not? Just get going. Uh, all right. you one question though what whose data was it that made the sign art go out of control I don't see the point of answering that question fair enough Where are we this time? What are you doing in my home? Well, um... Well, I would introduce myself. But that would be a strange way to start things off, given the circumstances. I'm really sorry. We were transported here from Artis's office. Artis? Yes. Null sent us there to get a sign art. It didn't work out too well, though. I see. So you're the outsiders that were transported to Energy Need. You knew about us? Yes. Only a certain few know, mind you. It's the same level of classification as the return of the Ten Wise Men. I apologize for coming here so suddenly, but we simply have to have a Synard. Is that why you came here? Yep. The Synard we had in North City went berserk on us during the data entry phase. Ah, that figures. You wouldn't be here otherwise. So, you know what you're supposed to do for us? What? Didn't Artis even tell you where he was sending all of you? Well, where are we? 
You're in the Endangered Species Protection Zone. I'm Noel Chandler, Director and Resident Zoologist. So you're here for a wild sign art then? Wild? Sign arts were originally wild animals. The sign arts in North City have been genetically re-engineered for the Nidians' purposes. There are wild ones too? Near extinction, but yes. In fact, the last one's in the critically endangered protection zone. You'll be meeting that sign art in just a moment. I imagine you'll be fighting soon afterward. Why? It's perfectly natural sign art behavior. Once a sign art realizes its opponent is stronger in might and will than itself, it will defend its new master with his life if needed. So we just have to fight the wild sign art and beat it. You make it sound so easy. It's not just a matter of physical strength. If your heart isn't in it, then it's simply not going to happen. Do you think you have what it takes? Um, Noel? How about we pay the sign art a visit then? But this is the last wild sign art in existence! If it dies, it dies. It's the fate of the species. It's as simple as that. Survival is a battle, and only the strong survive. Isn't that how it works? Now let's get going. We'll be traveling due south of here. Something's wrong here. It feels different from the last time I made my rounds. Different? It couldn't be. But it would never attack people. What is it? The animals around here are frantic. They're ready to attack at the slightest provocation. I've never experienced something like this before. Are we making regular animals go crazy now? This certainly isn't your fault, but this is definitely somebody else's doing. No doubt about that. The Ten Wise Men. It's certainly something they could do, but I never imagined they would go this far. 
Are the animals in the protection zone usually holed up inside this cave? No, they shouldn't be here at all. Usually the Synard scent is enough to keep them away. Oh no, what if those animals run into the Synard? We got enemies! Let's go, Weepy! Twin we go, thrust! We go! Twin thrust! Twin thrust! Anyone hurt? Nice! Here they come! Let's go, you guys! Twin thrust! Twin thrust! Twin thrust! That's one for us! Whatever. Here they come! Let's go, you guys! Twin thrust! Twin thrust! Twin thrust! Twin thrust! That was easier than I thought. Nobody saw that. I'm never gonna find a man if they see me tripping around all the time. She never lets up, does she? I'm amazed she's out here by herself. Annoyed. Be careful, everyone! Twin thrust! Twin thrust! Cross! Cross! This is it! What could this be? Looks like a business card. Chisato Madison, reporter, The Need Times. Enemies. We better be careful. Easier than I thought. Careful now. Why? Ha! Ha! 
Enemies. We can win this. I hope. This is it. Twin Take this. Be gone. Twin Thrust. This is it. Here they come! Don't get in my way. Twin thrust! Be gone! Twin thrust! Cross slash! Twin thrust! Cross slash! Cross slash! Be gone! Sorry! That was easier than I thought. You guys, cross slash. This is it. Cross slash. Cross slash. Cross slash. Too easy. Sinard! Oh no, we've got to help it! This looks a little rough. Uh, I'll need to do my best! Air Slash! 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 Waste of time. I suppose it happens to anyone. Those monsters injured the Sinard in that battle. Do we really still have to fight it just to establish some kind of stupid pecking order? Don't! It's hurt! Stop it! I beg you! What is that? Baby Signards! Are you sure about this, Claude? I can't do this. I can't take a child from its mother, and I certainly can't fight with an injured Signard. 
Claude. You can call me a wimp if you want, but I can't do it. I'm sorry. It's all right. You've made the right choice. I guess we're done here. We'll have to go back to Nal and see if there's something else we can do. Wait a minute! Um, what is it, Noel? It's acting strange again. Like it's trying to tell us something. Reina? You want to help us? You know what it's saying, Reina? It's just a matter of getting your thoughts across. After that, the rest is easy. Let's go. Thank you for all your help, Noel. This sign art is just what we need in the battle against the Ten Wise Men. Wait! Can you take me with you? Noel? The Ten Wise Men would never exist if it weren't for the mistakes my needy and forefathers made. I wouldn't feel right leaving you to shoulder the burden alone. Noel. Besides, the Wise Men have sent my animals into a violent frenzy. That's enough motivation for me to want to fight them. Well, all right. Take a seat, Noel. Thank you. Well, here we go. Next stop, the Centropolis. Welcome back. I hear you found your sign art. Yes, Mayor. Well, splendid. This is no time to be resting on our laurels, however. I'll need you to find and acquire the source of Need's energy as quickly as possible. The source of Need's energy? Precisely. It's time for you all to understand the source of Need's energy. In other words, the nature of symbology. Hmm. 
the nature of symbology is one step above your traditional symbology. It is the power that we wield as Nidians that you must combine with the latent powers inside your own bodies. That, I believe, is the only method we have to defeat the Ten Wise Men. As much as I'm ashamed to admit it, even if we as Nidians had every drop of our own power at our fingertips, I fear it would still not be enough to create a force that could overcome our enemy. So what should we do exactly? There are four fields dotted across the land, located in different directions away from the Centropolis. You must ride your Sinar to each one of these fields. Fields? Yes. Each field you encounter will have its own trial to overcome. If you cannot beat the trials, then you will be barred from proceeding any further. So what do you mean exactly? Unfortunately, I can't tell you any more than that. The trials differ for every person who challenges them. Oh. We'll just have to go and see, huh? The Field of Wisdom is north of the Centropolis, and the Field of Might is to the northwest. Southeast lies the Field of Courage, and the Field of Love is in the skies to the northeast. Allow me to give you this. This is called a Rune Code. What's that? In order to prevent abuse, the four fields are usually kept locked in an offline state. This rune code is necessary to release the lock. You should probably try to visit the Field of Wisdom first. That one is located on a pentagonal island north of the Centropolis. Also, I understand that the defenses guarding the Field of Love are extremely dangerous. It may be best to save that field for later, until you're sure your party is fully ready for what is awaiting you there. Thank you, Mayor. Ah, yes. One more thing. I have assembled the Nidian Defense Forces. They are stationed in the northeastern town of Lakwa. If you ever need their services, feel free to consult with them at any time. Certainly. I have one final gift for you. Hopefully, it will help you in your journey. Chisato Madison, aren't you? Well, yes. How did you know my name? We found your business card in the Cave of Crimson Crystals. Oh, I dropped it, huh? So tell us, why are you following us around all the time? Well, why do you think? You're the great hero sallying forth to slay the Ten Wise Men. I'm just covering your beat. Haven't you noticed the publicity you've been getting? Every man, woman, and child on need is following your story right now. Ah, uh, that still doesn't mean you have to go sneaking around monster territory by yourself like that. Are you kidding me? I'm a crusader for the truth. No monster could possibly withstand my burning passion for the story. Are you sure about that? 
course not. I'm just joking. I may not look it, but I've got a black belt in the Jingu martial arts. My hands are lethal weapons. Really? Neat. I couldn't stay with you guys unless I could defend myself a little, you know? What? So, so wait, you're gonna keep following us? Well, duh. I've gotta find out how your story ends. But... but it's dangerous. Oh, it's alright. I'm more than capable of taking care of myself. In that case, why don't you just join us? Huh? I mean, you're covering us for this newspaper, aren't you, Chisato? Wouldn't it be a lot easier if you just traveled with us? Well, sure, but... Are you sure it's okay? Sure we're sure. We'd feel a lot more at ease that way, too. <laughs> In that case, I'd be happy to accept your offer. Well, you heard him, boss. Is it okay if I go on assignment for a while? Brilliant! As long as you keep your deadlines, you can go anywhere you want for all I care. Absolutely! <laughs>